Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you for joining me again this week on another fun-filled adventure on our Fluid Art Express. Alright, so today, today, let's have a play, right? Let's just do this. So what I think I might do first is my Kraken I've been playing with. So I'm going to load up a bigger palette knife this week with a little bit of black so if anyone hasn't seen my crack and swipe all I'm doing at the moment is I have quite a fine light a layer of just black then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay white over the top and hopefully not drip the black into the white but I think we got this virtually painless even I can do that I reckon all right so that's what I have so now what I'm gonna do I'm thinking now we might add let's add a bit of color and we'll see what that does the world of experimenting is a pretty cool place. And the joy of YouTube, if it all goes bad, I can just delete. Do it again. Embellish later. Alright. So I think we'll add a bit of that. Do we add that one? No, I don't think I'll add that one. I think we'll add this one. That's a really cool colour. Alright. Let's start with some edges. Alrighty. Look at that coming through straight away. And what I love about my Kraken Swipe as you'll see that one sitting there watch the cells they just get bigger and bigger and it's sort of addictive just to watch <laughs> so it is my latest thing so let's just load her up again because I've been dying to see what it's going to look like with a cool bloom center so I'm thinking today's the day if all goes good. If not, you know the drill. Radio fixes everything. Okay, one more little bit I think we need there. Now. Gotta remember what order I did now. I get too excited when I do these. <coughs> It's just, it's a whole heap of fun. And you see as we're sitting here, how big these ones are getting already. Really cool. Really, really cool just to watch. I think this one, we might put a bit of taffy in there. It rocks my world. It would be my ultimate favourite blue. It's just something about it. I think this little piggy definitely got that one spot on. Now we might go opposite to that one now. There we go. Now I think I might leave that bit of negative space on the outside. I quite like that, actually. I think it's going to break it up in the middle there. All right, so we'll put our swipe tool away because we don't need it now. I think what we'll do, let's lay some colour down in our centre. You can watch how big these cells are getting just as we're doing our thing.
And I think for beginners, this is like the easiest way to start off with blooms if you're going to go to your larger pieces once you've practiced for a while with your smaller four inch six inch tiles because till you get that sort of color uh, color amount right where it goes to your edges at least if you've already put something on your edges it doesn't matter if your bloom doesn't make it there because you're still going to have some really cool cells and effects on the end so either way i think it's a win-win all right, so we'll put a bit of that one down. I'm going to go with this one now. So I'm just using a lot of custom blues today, except for, of course, my taffy. That one's not touched. It is true taffy. We'll add a bit of that one down. Might even pop a bit of green in there, I think, just to break that blue up a bit. And that might give us some cool effects. It's actually a really cool colour, that. Alright, what next? Oh, silly question. Taffy. Alright. Do that on the edges there too. That way it blows right out. Okay. Now, what haven't I used? Oh, this is a really cool colour too. Let's get this one out. This just gives really cool effects with the blues. And greens actually. I've been digging it with both. Alright, let's add a little bit of that. I think we need a little bit of lighter in there too. It's a bit thicker that one. It's alright. Thick isn't always bad. go and a little bit of southern ocean blue I do love this color you must get sick of me saying it Bonya <laughs> I can't live without it it's just one of them cool awesome colors really does amazing things to other colors you know what? Let's add a bit of this Pebio now. I've got it like a green gold. I think that might do some justice there too. Give some cool highlights. I might just separate it a bit from this to that. But look how cool these are getting really big. Sorry, I'm like a child when this happens because it's just super cool watching these cells all form. They're very different, aren't they? Alright. I think we might bloom. Add our CA down. I need one more dollop with that today. There we go. That's a good sized puddle. Ready, George? Here we go. Alright. Now let's see. What I want to try and do is sort of a crack there. Come on, George. Rawr. You know I only do this because I like the noises. We're mature, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. 
You're pretty much used to the bubbles now, right, though, aren't you guys? <laughs> I'm just having too much fun today. All right, so I think we need to tie some shoelaces here. Let's mix them in with themselves. There we go. And then we can make it one. That's cool. Tell ya, give the shoelace a go. Nice and easy. Really does cool effects when you spin it out. Traps up some of them cells. When they spin out, they just, I think they look crazy cool. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Don't like you. We'll just hide you. Now, do we want to do anything with that image? Oh, you know what? I think we do. Just with these bolder bits. There we go. Let's tail that through there. Can't go through them because they're really cool. There we go. Oh, look at that little bit. That just needs a little bit of a squiggle, right? There we go. Alrighty. Let me just hide my monster cup that I've stuck to the spinner. <coughs> it's a talon, I tell you. Alright, so, joy of using these big 14-inch 14 14 inch ones. I pretty much get the middle of the spinner, my unicorn. Now, I think we'll take this a little bit slow at the first, because I just want to see how it's going to open up for me. I might get it moving a bit more. Personally, I just love the paint running through my fingers off the edge of the spinner. Yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah. Look at that. I think that's pretty cool. So as I said, it's, it's a really good technique to have a play with if you're a beginner too and you're just starting to get to those larger pieces you want to have a play with because if you don't get your cells right to the edges you've used your swipe to do the work for you just till you get that practice in and sometimes it's just getting that color puddle right that can really be tricky Oh, I'll just get rid of this mess before I stick my hand in it, which we know I'm going to do. Now, you know what? I was going to stick my skewer back in, but I'm going to put it down. I think that's the other thing. Sometimes you got to know when to just walk away. Be happy with what you've got. Now, I'll just get my monster cup back. That way I can pop it up for you. And I can get my amazing cameraman, aka Darren Cross Wombat, to do a close-up reel. And I hope you enjoyed that one this week because, to be honest, I just wanted to do a, a big blue bloom. <laughs> with my cracking on the outside but them cells I really love how they grow give it a go because it's it's really fun and you get some really unusual effects that are I think are pretty cool so that is pretty much me done for this week guys and I hope you've really enjoyed that because I had fun and that's what it should all be about 
So next up after me today, we have the dynamic duo, my big sis and my amazing big brother, Cat and Tony, the hippy dippy painter man. So follow us over and join us for our caboose on the chat and our amazing express. And that is me done. So until next time, take care, stay safe, have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Greatly appreciate it.